Alex Yu Show 300 seconds of daily wisdom to inspire you to live a life worth living. Healthful, joyful, and meaningful. I'm Alex Yu, and today in these 300 seconds, we're talking about mindful parenting. The very specific topic about these 300 seconds is why your child always wants your attention. Mom, mom, dad, dad, all day long, all the time. Specifically, if you only have one child. But even if you have more children, it seems like they always want our attention. And what we do is, oh my goodness, not again. I'm trying to do something, read something on my phone, do some work, uh, prepare something in the house. We are busy in our world. And it seems like they are always invading our space. Why is it happening and how do we actually work this through? As a child, our children are connected to us. They don't see themselves as a separate entity than us, especially when they're very little. Toddlers, babies, toddlers, and as they grow even. Only as they develop this self that we teach them, you have a name, you have a separate entity and a separate self, they start to separate themselves as a separate entity. But before that, they are connected to you. They are always you. They want to know what you do. They want to be with you. They want to be engaged with you. They want your attention. They want you to see what they're doing. They want you to know that they are there and they exist. Your child is one with you. They don't understand separateness yet. We've created a life where we have individuals, separate entities. My name is Alex. I do this and that. I live here and there. We've created a structure inside here that suggests that I'm a separate entity than you. But your child doesn't have this concept yet. We're not here to talk about is that the right concept or a wrong concept. That's a whole different conversation. We are here to talk about why your child always seems to nag and wants your attention. And it's always about him. Oh, I don't have a life anymore. It's about my child. I don't have any time for myself. You have created this beautiful creature on this planet. And that's the experience you're going to go through. Yet, you complain now. Yet, when you are 50, 60, when your child's grown up, say, oh, time flew so fast. Have you not heard parents say that? Oh, my kids are grown up. I don't know where time went. Well, when they're little, you complain that they want your time. And when they grow up, you say time's gone too fast. You've got a few years, 5, 10, 15, 20 years of this beautiful experience with this child. And it won't come back. That's one present experience that continues for a certain amount of years. Take a moment to realize this and change this here to accept this child into your life and make sure you enjoy this moment. How? By accepting and allowing. Don't judge him or her when it wants your attention. But allow them, be with them, feel them, enjoy them, love them, play with them. That's what it means to experience your child fully and beautifully. Of course they want your attention. They are one with you. All they know is you, mom, dad, family. That's the closest, that's the most gentle and beautiful. And yet they don't see it as a separate thing. How they feel, they think they should feel, that you should feel. What they do, they want to do it with you because they don't see it as a separate entity or thing. So next time your child asks for your attention and you're busy on your phone, just stop for a second and think, well, yes. My child wants me because I am his life. He is my life. We are one. And that's how they live. They live in wholeness, in oneness with you. And they want your attention, not because they want to frustrate you, but because they see you and them as one. One thing, one play, one game, one experience. Your children and you are one. Allow this present experience with your child to happen. You will experience your kids in a much better way, in much more love and happiness 
and enjoyment all together. This was 300 seconds of mindful parenting wisdom. We talked a little bit about why your children always want your attention and how to actually switch your mindset about why this is happening to create a better parenting. I'm Alex Yu, inspiring you to live a life worth living and be a better parent. Until tomorrow and until then, keep on mind triumphing.